Hey everyone. A study is being done to examine the possibility of adding a bike lane, a bike and pedestrian lane, to San Francisco's Bay Bridge. Now, I don't live in San Francisco, I live in Sacramento. But both my father and grandfather grew up in San Francisco. And I just am very fond of the city. I travel there frequently. And so I have an opinion on this. And apparently, I'm an authority on this because when I spoke about my opinion on the Golden Gate Bridge, I got dozens of responses and thousands of views. So, now, the Bay Bridge. For those of you who don't know, San Francisco connects to Marin County across the Golden Gate Bridge and to Oakland, which I want to say is Alameda County, but you know, I could be wrong, correct me if I am. I'm not an expert, never claim to be. But the Bay Bridge goes to Treasure Island and then from Treasure Island to Oakland, which also is near Berkeley and what's considered to be the East Bay. Part of that bridge between Oakland and Treasure Island is being replaced. It's expected to be finished, I want to say in 2012. And when you cross the bridge now, you can see them working on it. They've been, been working on this project for a while. And it will include a bike and pedestrian lane. Now, the span between Treasure Island and San Francisco, which is a suspension bridge, has already been retrofitted for earthquake standards, but isn't being replaced. But, as long as they're putting bike and pedestrian access between Treasure Island and Oakland, there's a group of cycling enthusiasts and I'm sure other community groups that want to add a pedestrian and bike lane between San Francisco and Treasure Island. I think it's a phenomenal idea. They don't have the funding to do it. Right now, only the study, the funding for the study has been authorized. Not the funding, sorry, the hair is bugging me here today. Um, Bad hair day, sorry. <laughs> but there's no money for it yet. So here's my advice, and believe me, you want my advice on this. Part of your study, make sure you include barriers that prevent people from committing suicide off the Bay Bridge so you don't have to spend $45 million altering them in the future like you do on the Golden Gate Bridge. But hey, now to all those people who hated me for that, if you kept up with my videos, I did agree with the net style barrier that they're adding to the Golden Gate Bridge that will not obscure the view. And yes, even though our government doesn't say so, a human life is worth $45 million. Our government says that it's worth, uh, I think, 5 or $6 million. Did you guys ever see that study? I'm off topic. Never mind. You know what, I think I'm just going to have to be a little less formal in my videos anymore. Because that's just how it is. And if you don't like it, you know where the unsubscribe button is. And if you don't, well, pfft, then you don't even matter to me because you don't, you, you don't know YouTube. Pfft. So there. Anyway, God, this, oh, it's driving me nuts. And no, I'm not getting a haircut. Thanks anyway. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Some of you.